In this tutorial, we will tell you how to generate an Excel spreadsheet with NPI. So NPI is well known as supporting Excel. So, so we will show you how to do that. I have prepared a simple code to help you understand what's going on. So here's the first thing. So usually we will use an XSF user model. So this is a very important namespace. And uh, this XSF worksheet means the container of the Excel. So in each um, workbook, you will have several sheets. So later we will show you how to create sheets. OK, after creating a workbook, we can create sheets. So firstly, we, we will create three sheets. One is called sheet A, the second is sheet B, the third is sheet C. So anyway, you can you can create more sheets like sheet four, uh, sheet um, D, sheet E, uh, any sheets you want. So so so, and uh, then we create a cell. So this cell will contain a text called "This is a test," and you will see that yeah, this is a test. It's just simple. And the zero, row zero, and the column zero means A one. Okay. And after that, we will create a. Uh, a few cells with a loop. So this loop will start from 1 to 15, and uh, we will only change the row instead of changing the column. So, so the column will all be zero. So that means we will fill in A2, A3, A4, A5 to A15. Okay. And uh, save to Excel. So, so after we have done everything, so we save it to the Excel, and you will see that we will try to uh, save the file and say let, let's see if it works. So run, just a moment. It's pulling the MPI. Uh, something wrong. Okay, we will need to change this one and change this one. Okay, because we're on the sheet one, we don't touch sheet two and sheet three. Okay, let's try again. Do, do, do. Yeah. Okay, it's down. And then we open the file. See if it works. So here you will see that it says, OK, so we have a previewer that can automatically open Excel. And you will see that this is the first one, right? And uh, we will go to A16, not A15. OK, it's from A2. OK. And sheet B and sheet C are empty. OK. I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.